Hi, I'm Pete from Project Heaven Restoration and today I'm going to show you an E-Type that we converted to fuel injection a while ago and we did some other pretty amazing upgrades to it as well, so I'll show you it now. First of all, we did quite a lot of bodywork on this car to backdate it from a Series 2 to a Series 1 E-Type. So, and, and a lightweight as well, a semi-lightweight. So the bonnet is aluminium, the rear boot hatch and the doors, they're aluminium as well. And we've also got the number plate aperture, which we put in as well. We did the metal work on that. Different rear lights and obviously different front lights, of course. Um, and then gave it an external respray. It's back in because uh, the customer's doing some of the restoration himself and we've done some of the restoration for him. So we've done the engine and bodywork and paint and he's gonna assemble the interior and finish off a few other things. Engine wise, this engine is an absolute monster. It's had a lot of money spent on it. It's had high compression JE pistons. It's got uh, full race camshafts. It's got I-beam con rods, uh, forged of course, forged pistons as well of course. Uh, the crank has been lightened, polished, balanced and peened. The flywheel has been lightened and balanced. It's got alloy pulleys and a fluid damper at the front. It's got a upgraded alternator, different pulleys on there, alloy as well. A uprated um, radiator. There's also been a lot of headwork done on it. Bigger valves, port work, all that sort of thing. Uh, and, of course, and of course we built the whole engine up uh, with all these parts. It's tubular exhaust manifold as well, equal length. But the main thing, uh, from my point of view, the interesting thing, is the fact that we converted it to one of our own EFI systems. So this is actually fully sequential ignition and injection. It's got a crank position sensor and a cam position sensor. This, the cam position sensor works off of the original distributor. There's a pickup in the distributor, which tells it when it's either on uh, firing or compression sort of thing. Um, and uh, that then allows ECU, ECU to know when it should fire off the injectors and when it should fire off the sparks. So, have a little closer look at this. Along here we've got the throttle bodies. These are Webcon throttle bodies. They're quite nicely made. Got mated up to the manifold. Um, one injector per cylinder. And like I say, they're not batch fired. They're individually fired. There's a throttle position sensor here to tell it uh, so that it can uh, enrich the fuel during sharp acceleration, uh, acceleration on the throttle pedal. Underneath, there's a secondary manifold that we made, which actually allows air to get bypass the throttle bodies and go straight into each inlet runner. That means we can put an idle air control valve on there. It's actually a stepper motor, which allows for accurate control of the idle setting, you see. Then, then if you like, say, the, um, end, the cooling fans come on, which creates an extra current demand on the alternator, it can then raise the idle accordingly, so your idle remains stable. That's one of the nice features of, of this ECU. We don't know what uh, horsepower it makes yet because although we had done the initial fueling map, the engine isn't fully bedded in yet, even though we completed this over a year ago um, because the restoration takes a long time for the other aspects of it to be done. But soon we will be doing that. We'll be putting it back on the rolling road, completing the bedding in process and, uh, yeah, and finding out what horsepower it's got. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>